What up guys, Ian Fernando here. And guess who I have? Oliver Kenyon. Hey guys. We're having here on a nice little roof deck. Roof deck? Bar. Roof, rooftop? Rooftop, oh rooftop. my god. I've had one too, too many much, of these. Much, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. So, oh damn man, he's slacking on my side. Okay, so uh, I wanna do this little quick five minutes interview, quick five minutes before AWA, or AWE actually in Barcelona. Right now we're on a rooftop at B Lounge? Uh, B Hotel. Yeah, B Hotel uh, in Barcelona. It's and literally opposite the venue. Yeah, you can see this, the other side of the camera, like it's amazing view and uh, it's gonna be a great show, can't wait. So. Yeah, so what I wanna talk about is I kinda wanna do these little skits, like a little quick interview that I'm, I'm meeting people with. And me and I, we've been friends for, I'm not even like. I don't know, first ad tech, what, six, seven years ago? Yeah, I was just gonna say seven yeah, years ago. Long time, bro. Yeah. And he's done a lot of stuff, and I'm not sure if everybody recognizes his name, what he's done in industry. Um, if you're familiar with Affiliate Fix, then you know that he started it, and he's actually sold it out and made a breakthrough through it. So, what I want to do is give a quick breakdown of how I met Ali first time before I met him in person. Is he reached out to me, he said, "Hey, can I get a link from my blog to to at that time CPA Fix, right?" And that's how we kind of became. I guess it was like early influence marketing, yeah, right? Yeah, like pretty much. Pretty the much. days of where SEO really worked. So, like, yeah. if I had a link on Ian's blog, it meant a lot. Like these days, it still means a lot, and not disrespecting Ian, but like it means a lot to have a backlink. But in those days, to have a link on someone like Ian's blog was massive. Yeah. Um, so it's like early days of influence marketing. Ian was an influence in the affiliate marketing space. So now back in the day, out. like <laughs> now he's yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm nobody now. <laughs> but um, no, I reached out and, and asked for a link, and uh, you were good enough to, to to give me that, and you became a big part of what yeah. was what is now affiliate fix, right? And that and that's the crazy part, craziest part about this networking thing. And I'm doing this because in the affiliate world, in this industry, especially affiliate world E, affiliate world A, it's just the fact that it's the people that you know that will help you move forward, and. I hopefully I I hope that I've helped Ali move so. forward, yeah, and Ali obviously has helped me move forward. So what I want to quickly discuss is like, what happened to CPA fix? Why did it turn to affiliate fix? And what happened into affiliate fix? Yeah, of course. And I love how we did this. I think we did an interview on YouTube probably about four or five years ago where we spoke <laughs> yeah, about yeah, yeah. CPA fix. It was in London. Um, and you're right, it's been a massive part of my career as an entrepreneur and as a business owner. Um, and I basically started CPA Fix because of a network that we both know of. I don't know if many of the new listeners will have heard of it, but CPA Lead. Like CPA oh, Lead yeah, back yeah. in the day was massive. And it was all about CPA marketing rather than affiliate marketing, right? So it was cost per action. Everyone was talking about CPA. And uh, everyone on CPA Lead, um, they, there, was, there used to be like an old school like chat. Uh, like feed. Oh yeah, feed. You remember, yeah, like yeah. you could talk to people yeah, yeah. who were other affiliates. <laughs> that was that, so, yeah, that was memory and, time. I know. <laughs> and, and the other thing you could do is you could also shout out how you, how much you made that day. So you could kind of like show off. But well, that was behind an alias. Yeah, that was back in the day, though. Right. Yeah. So back in the day, everyone was doing this, and I came to the point where I was like, I want to earn more money, but no one shares anything. So I was like, let me just start a forum, a community, because that's I've, I've done that before. I was still a full-time chef at that time and never thought I'd make any money from it, but I thought I'd just start this community and discuss how we can make money through affiliate marketing, CPA marketing. All of a sudden I had people hit me up saying, I want to join, I want to join. I think you probably joined, that's where I got your name yeah, from. Yeah, and I was like, shit, this guy's like a big guy in the space. People like Tim Bird, people like Tyler Cruz, like back in the day. Oh, Tyler like Cruz, yeah, yeah, Tyler like Cruz, yeah, yeah. Zach Johnson, like I'm all not these big guy guys. Anymore. <laughs> but all these guys, like they, they were big names back then. They were the early influencers in the affiliate marketing space. Uh, Mr. Green, Laws, we're here oh, yeah. at his show today. Like he joined the forum. So I hit these guys up, people like you, and said, look, can you, can you link to me? Can you give me a shout out? And all of a sudden we got blew up. We just blew up. So I then got more involved in the affiliate marketing space as opposed to CPA marketing space. And I thought, why don't we just branch out, make this a bit more broad. Let's not just talk about CPA marketing, let's talk about uh, affiliate marketing. You know, let's break down into traffic sources. Um, back in the days of like POF, Facebook, uh, all these different sources. Um, so we kind of just expanded. We bought the domain affiliate fix for, I think it was like 3K back in the day. And we did like a press wow. release, like back in the day, and I'm not disrespecting anyone, but back in the day, that was like a huge acquisition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, because you had to go like, through PR News. Yeah, that was like, that was like yeah, three, to, yeah, that was like three to six months, like wages, like profit for me. It was yeah. massive. So we bought this domain, um, and, and, and as soon as we did, everything kind of exploded. 100,000 members later, um, I was fortunate enough to, 17 months ago, sell 
the company. I'm still a shareholder. I still consult for them. Um, but uh, it's, it's been an amazing journey and hopefully it's just the start of other things to come and I'm now focusing on other businesses and stuff like that. So, yeah. And this is why I want to do this quick quick interview that I'm meeting with. Like people that I've had a relationship with and the networking part. The networking part in this industry is very, very crucial. Um, like if Ali ne probably never hit me up about just a backlink on my blog, I don't think we would be as close as we are today. Right. right? So if you're in the affiliate world, hit up Ali, hit up me. And let's talk about how we can do business together and how we can expand each other's uh, wealth. And I, I think that's the best thing about this industry. I said it the other day to someone. I think it's the only industry, like, I don't know if, uh, because I haven't been in many under, other industries, but I don't know if any other industry, you can hit up a stranger who's going to the same show and be like, let's go for a drink, let's yeah. go for a coffee, let's, let's go, go for a beer, yeah. and just get on with them. Yeah. Like, we did that, and now we've been friends for six, seven years, and we're close. But, like, yeah, and that's the crazy I, I've part. met so many amazing friends through this industry because you just feel like you you can just say that to people. Look, let's just go for a drink. There's a guy who's going to come meet us in a in a couple of minutes who, who you know, I've never met before because he wants to have go. a drink. Like, yeah, exactly. So good, and, he'll probably and, that, and, and that's what the part, best part about this um, affiliate industry. Like, even though we have these ups and downs, it's the people that you connect with, right? That makes the industry make me want to go more, right? It makes me want him to go more. It makes what it motivates me you to do more. So, um, well, that's kind of quick that I have here. So, hopefully, you guys take something out of it, and hopefully, you'll expect more of these videos in the coming days where Fleet World is still exhibiting till probably Thursday. So, talk to you soon, guys. Appreciate it, boy. Thanks, man. <laughs> Good to see you.